I really want to just jump into faith again this morning. Welcome to our time of prayer and sharing the word together. What a great day to, way to start the day. I want to read you Hebrews 11 verse 1 again from the Amplified Bible. Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation or the title deed of the things we hope for, being proof of things we do not see. And the conviction of their reality, that's important. That's what believing is, conviction of reality, of things you don't see yet, but knowing they're coming. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to your senses. So we have to just confirm this one time. This is not about what you feel. It's not about what your senses tell you. It's about believing in the life and the will of the Father. Verse 2 in Hebrews 11, For by faith... Their trust, holy fervor, born of faith. The men of old had divine testimony, born to them and obtained a good report. What is the good report they retained? That they lived by faith. They believed that they received what the words of the Father was, what the will of God was. They believed it, that they received it, even though they couldn't yet see it. Good report. Good thing to have in your life when God talks about you like that, and people can see that. I want to just touch on verse 3. By faith we understand that the worlds, during the successive ages, were framed, fashioned, put in order. That's a word I wanted to get to today in the Amplified. Let's put our world in order. What order do we want? The order of God, the life of God, the will of God, the abundance of God. That's the order I want. That scripture says, the world was framed, fashioned, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose. And so I want to live my life with intended purpose. And everything that is coming in order in my life is for intended purpose. By the word of God. Not by my word, not by my will, but by the will and the word of God. So that what we see was not made out of things which are visible. He has the final test for us. We've got to keep having the order of God. We've got to keep having purpose-equipped life through our words that we speak because they're in line with the will of the Father, knowing that our life order is coming into place even though we can't see it yet. It's like there's a tipping point that happens in the Spirit. And when you speak the will of God, you frame your world the order of God comes. You're equipped for purpose. One day it's like just everything clicks. It's like putting a car in gear. It's like suddenly there was no momentum. There was no power. It was just standing still and revving. But the minute you put it into gear, it was like everything begins to roll. That's what faith does for you. It brings order. It begins to make the things just happen in your life. And your whole life becomes the order of God. And then we go back to Mark 11, and we say, ah, because I pray and I believe in my heart and I don't doubt in my heart because of these words I see, but I don't have, but I believe that I receive what I don't yet see, but I have it. I'm ordering, I'm equipped in my life. God's purpose equipment is for me in my life. I'm a faith person. I live by the ways of God for intended purpose. Let's pray together and just close our session together now and say, Father, I thank you that as I speak your words and as I live in faith and I see that I receive things that I can't yet see in the natural, my world is coming into order and the order of my world is equipped for intended purpose. Everything about my life is full of joy, full of abundance, full of intended purpose. And I thank you, Lord, that because of that, that I'm beginning to see everything come to pass in my life. In Jesus' name, all of your goodness, all of your love, all of your abundance. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Let's pray in the Spirit together.